Good evening, I'm B.B. Sweetbriar, and welcome to another episode of SF Tonight. Tonight, we are in the Castro District of San Francisco, where I had an opportunity to visit a very historical establishment. Why is it historical? Because it's named after the first gay elected official in the country, Harvey Milk. This place is so wonderful. Not only does it bring a lot of nostalgia inside, but it also has a wonderful menu, great drinks, and some wonderful evening events going on every week. So I want you to join with me an opportunity to sit down with the manager there and see what actually happens at Harvey. Now, when was it really established here? Well, BB, we opened in 1996, so we've been here for about 15 years now. Um, before that, it was the Elephant Walk, which most people remember from the 1970s heydays of the neighborhood. And that opened in 1974 and then closed in 1988 after a fire. So there's a small period of time where the restaurant sat here vacant with nothing in it, but uh, we've been here as Harvey's for 15 years. Now, Harvey Milk, of course, had his camera shop just a, a few storefronts away from here back in the 70s. And um, so I know inside here, um, we've got some wonderful pictures and stuff on the wall that kind of give us an idea of what it was like back in the 70s in, in the heyday of Harvey Milk. Where did you get everything in here? Well, we got everything from the uh, Historical Society, which has their museum uh, just two stores down from us here on 18th Street. And this uh, photo collection came from the estates of uh, Crawford Barton, who was a very notable gay photographer of that era. And he left uh, all of the images from his portfolio to the Historical Society. And there's a few other ones that we uh, bought from another uh, contemporary of Mr. Barton's. His name is Efren Ramirez. And he's probably one of the most famous photographers of the Castro and gay San Francisco from that time period. Now you're right here on the corner. I mean, you're in prime Castro. You're right here on the corner of 18th and Castro. Um, so you probably get a lot of walk-in traffic, I'm sure. But what I think is interesting is like when I come here, there's a lot of people from out of, not only out of town, but out of the country that come and stop by here and specifically come because it's a part of the Harvey Milk um, legacy. Well, we're, uh, we're definitely a, a restaurant that has an international clientele. Uh, for just a little burger joint at the corner of 18th and Castro. We really do have people that come from all over the world to uh, not just eat here, but it's more about getting a piece of the nostalgic atmosphere and hearkening back to that era. Your menu kind of actually speaks to all the nostalgia because some of the names of some of the, the uh, menu items are kind of based upon that time. Um, and I particularly love the burgers here. Um, and my favorite, of course, is the Sylvester. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about some of the selections you have in the burger menu? Well, the Sylvester burger is uh, probably the most uh, pertinent namesake uh, that we have on the menu because Sylvester used to perform right there on that stage behind us for Sunday uh, tea dances. It's only fitting that we have something named after him. What I think is also interesting is that this is not only just a restaurant, it is a full bar here, um, but you also have some specialty nights in which you offer some type of entertainment and fun for your patrons here. Um, why don't we talk a little bit about that, um, like your Tuesday night. Well, like we said, we do have an international clientele, but we also realize that we're in the middle of uh, the gay mecca, and we really try to be a neighborhood place as well. So Tuesday nights, uh, for the last three years, uh, we've had a live comedy show focuses on gay and gay-friendly comedians, um, and we have uh, headliners that come from all over the country for that show. And it's been going strong for three plus years, and it's kind of an institution in the neighborhood now. It's packed every night, but uh, definitely worthwhile to check out. And then the first person I ever had sex with requested me as a friend on Facebook. I'm like, is the entire fourth grade class contacted? So when they say that size matters, it does. Go for the small dick, okay? Because I'm paying for it now. <laughs> I was watching the State of the Union address, and I was reading my friends' comments on Facebook, and one of my straight friends was like, Obama doesn't care enough about health care. And then one of my gay friends came over and was like, Girl! Look at Nancy Pelosi's hair! <laughs> Another thing that you have going on on Wednesday nights is you have the only trivia night 
um, here in the cast show. So those people who are kind of buffs with that knowledge in their head that is kind of what we consider to be worthless at some times um, can stop in and have some fun. Well, uh, we all know that the gays love their pop culture, so um, we just tried to have a platform for them to put that on display, their knowledge of that on display. And so we've got trivia with a twist. It's uh, really a, a different kind of trivia format with name that video and some other things. And plus you can win some great prizes too. Well, that's really fun too. I always love, um, you know, walking away with something in your hand when you when you come in. So, and you have a special menu on that. I know you have like a four dollar appetizer menu on that Wednesday night, as well as like three dollar draft beer. So, like for seven bucks, cheap beer and cheap food, and it's it's uh, really a, a value. Come on down, and for seven bucks, yeah, you can get yourself something to eat and a cold beer. One thing that I would like to say is that the staff here is phenomenal and many of them have worked here for years. It's not one of those places where the turnover is like so dramatic. Um, um, is, is that part of the experience of coming here is because you have some, some wonderful, happy, friendly staff members? Oh, definitely. Uh, everybody that works here loves their job, especially me. And we don't have a lot of turnover, but we've got people that have been here for eight, nine years. Um, and that is part of the experience and it's mostly because like I said we try to be a neighborhood place as well and uh, we want to make sure that we make all of our San Francisco and Castro residents feel extra special and wanting to come back and make Harvey's their place to hang out and have a drink when they're in the neighborhood. Well I want to thank Steve very much for kind of like giving us a little fill in on the history and some of the things that go on here in the bar. I'm going to try and do some sampling here a little bit so um, we're going to come back and, and I'm, I'm going to give you a little taste test of, of what I have on my plate and what it looks like and everything but and, until then I'm going to uh, let Steve go ahead and do about his business and wait on some customers as they come in here but I'll be right back with you. Thank you for coming back and joining me here on SF Tonight. Um, I am so excited about my next guest because I've known him for some time and he's done a wonderful job to offer some different things here in the SF or San Francisco nightlife. Um, I'm here in the cafe and this is one of the venues that this next promoter who is a part of the Latin community uses for some of his entertainment. Jorge, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Great, great, great. So tell me a little bit about JC uh, Events and what it is that you're hoping to accomplish here in the city. Um, JC Events was created two years ago and kind of bring new ideas to the party scene. Um, being a party boy myself, I wanted to be able to do my own events uh, the way I wanted to do them uh, and just have fun and, and give San Franciscans and out of towners, like you said, you know, something new to enjoy and you've brought some wonderful entertainment here for all of us to enjoy. Uh, give us some idea of some of the people you've brought here. Uh, for JC Presents, we, I started with Daniela uh, back in December of last year. And every, every month, the fourth Saturday of the month, we're bringing just some amazing talent. We just had Shangela last week, uh, which was amazing for the 4th of July party. And next month, we're bringing um, Derek Jameson from LA. So that's be great. I mean, it's a new talent that we want to showcase to this to the people in the city just to see you know what's out there besides the mainstream artists what's happening out there. That's great and I know people really do appreciate that I, you know I've been to uh, several of your events here and um, people really get into the live entertainment because it's unusual at a nightclub like this that you get to see live singers, live dancers, I mean it's generally just you know the DJ playing so how's the response been from the crowd? Well, they're, it's amazing when they see me on the street, they're like, who's coming next month? They want to know what's coming and they give me ideas. And I, I'm open to, to see, for them to tell me who they want to see because it's, it's for them. Like, I want to hear what they want to see. So, I mean, it's, it's actually funny because every time, um, like last week, they asked me who's coming up next month. So I tell them. So in that way, I mean, I think the whole people get excited because, like, for instance, Castle, you get to see it on the videos. But when you actually have them live and it's singing, ice cream truck and he's like wow you know he's singing the, the song that you see on the screen so it's actually fun to see live entertainers that you actually get to have in your iPod or you, you listen to and it's it's amazing. You know um, Sandra was here last week or you know here and in, um, in June during uh, right after Pride or at the beginning of July actually and um, she was amazing and I know you kind of have 
um, a, another RuPaul drag queen coming here in the summer. Yes, we're going to be having uh, Mariah Perez Balenciaga coming in in um, August. Okay, I'd like to also talk about another club that you have going on once a month um, here in the city that is geared toward the Latin community, the Latin gay community. Um, and I know you've been doing it for a couple of years and you actually started in the Mission, um, which is a Latin community here, and then you went to Soma. And now you're back in the mission. Why don't you kind of tell me the whole history of how that's been going? Well, Antares, the concept for Antares was to have um, the gay community, the Latin community, not just come to the castle, but also to go to the mission where there's so much live um, diversity, there's so much to offer, but there was the one thing missing, which is the gay entertainment. So that's how Antares started. We started at the Blue Macaw. Uh, but we had some problems with the uh, management, so we decided to move to Soma, uh, to a beautiful venue, Miss Miss Nightclub. But um, a lot of our customers were like, we want to go, you know, you need to bring it back to the mission where you started. And that's, you know, it, that was the whole concept of Lantaris. So this year we um, went back to the mission and we went to Rocapuco, which Rocapuco is the biggest Latin club in San Francisco. So we partner with uh, the uh, Tony O who owns the, the club and we are scheduled to have about seven on Tars a year. Um, I think that's really great because I know like even for Pride um, we have more Latin um, performers than we normally do. We, ha we usually have one but we had like three this year and um, it's really interesting because when you look at the crowd it's not just Latin people it's a really diverse crowd. Um, do you seem to get diverse crowds at Antares as well? Yes, I mean they they're coming for the sound for the people They want that Latin experience and and they come to be part of that So it's not just for Latin. it is catered to the uh, Latin community But it's open to anyone who wants to have a great time. I really appreciate you being here with me Jorge um, You know, I've known you for a long time and I really do appreciate what you do for San Francisco and the nightlife um, if you come here and you are looking for um, some place to go that is a little different, some live entertainment, you can go to www.jorgechamorroevents.com.